Welcome back to the Copa Virginia. My name is Charles DeGisco. I'm joining the booth alongside Josh Weinstock and Maine Miller. Today, we're going to be calling the semifinal matchup in the Gi Female Absolute Division between Roxana Trujillo and Caroline Pepin Woods. Six minute match. Getting the old candy cane belt. The competitor belt, the secondary belt. It's a fruity candy cane. You ever it is, had one Josh. of those? I've actually never had a fruit with one of those. flavored ones? Pretty tasty. And we start off with action. Catherine grabbed the candy cane belt there, looking for established grips early. Both women looking for the takedown, potentially looking for a snap down. Caroline with both grips at the moment, but rocks on the inside, preventing any kind of effective grip fighting at the moment. Again, Look. right now we're just posturing for, for position, trying to get the best grip to either pull guard or take someone down. Caroline looking for that single leg potentially. And Roxanne looks like she's got a little judo. She keeps going for that over the back grip, which is indicative of judo players. It's a very common grip you see in judo. Up, oh, gives it up. Went in for that sort of Uchimata and just kind of goes down and Catherine is on the back. Catherine already with the collar grip in. Roxanne's doing a good job of turning the shoulders. She needs, uh, Caroline needs to bring her to the other side to get the other hook in or start hip escaping and coming up on top as there we are. It looks like Roxana was actually listening to you when you were giving that advice. I, I do what I can to help all competitors. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, uh, Rock's coming in, playing heavy, looking to step through, and has, has pushed into half guard, it's pressuring through, steps up again. Caroline does a great job of re-guarding. Seems to be messing with the lapels heavily to try to just keep her down, postured, and looking for a collar choke. X choke from guard here, attempt. And she's gonna look for a sickle sweep there. Roxanne does a good job of getting out of the guard and then addressing it again, looking for the knee cut pass, going into the leg weave, trying to slide that far side knee through. Now she's just gonna control the hip line and come in or go all the way to the north south position. She comes around to the back side, looking to settle. Very nice passing sequence there from Roxana. Rock's now up three to two. Comes up to knee on belly as well, just racking up points at the moment. Really good control. Has a nice grip on that far side shoulder on the uh, on the gi material above the bicep. That would be near side. That's correct, Josh. <laughs> Caroline looking to just tangle up the legs, try to pull herself back in to try to get to half. Rocks again, coming to knee on belly, controlling the near side arm and moves right into mount. From here, she's gonna look to control and possibly go for the collar choke or the Ezekiel, and there's the Ezekiel. There's the Ezekiel. Putting the fist in. Really nice reversal from Caroline when the hands were pushed in. She just bumps over, now returns to guard. That was very well timed there by Caroline, but now she's down on points, so she's gonna have to make something happen. She's really gonna have to work her posture back up, clear those grips. Nine to two with three minutes remaining. Oh, they don't start him in the same position. Very interesting. So again, Rock's attacking the, the sleeves, looking to pull her across. Caroline really needs to posture, start going knee in middle or standing up, looking to pass. She is doing- Down by seven, and that is, in jujitsu is a hefty hill to climb, but can be done with the time that's left. She's doing a good job of keeping the hips down to the mat there and keeping her grips in very, very nice frames in that nice triangular configuration that's very, very strong. Using the knee and the butt pass there to open the legs. Staying in tight but looks for it again. Should be getting the advantage for the near pass. And the roll to turtle. There's her ad. She's got one hook in. She digs in the second on the back, waiting for the ref to award points. Her corner needs to let her know she's still down, so she either needs to submit or transition over into mount to go up by four. 
Yeah, getting you to mount is puts you in a position to be scoring by Ooh, one. Again, on the neck, there we go, looking for the submission. Bow and arrow choke. Right now they're turned over, I can't really see the hand positioning. Rox escapes, all right, we're back into guard. With about 90 seconds left, Caroline just put herself right back in this match. And like I said, it was a pretty uh, hefty hill to climb, but she made me eat my own words. <laughs> Retying the candy cane belt. Moving back into the closed guard. We started the match again. Rock staying tight right now. Again, Caroline with the grip, looking for a treetop or sickle sweep. Rock's coming in with good pressure, avoiding anything that will off balance her. Doing a good job there, kicking that grip off the leg and Beautiful getting around the guard. Beautiful fighter pass right into side control. She keeps the grips. And again, waits. she elects to walk all the way around to the side, but this time stopping in the north south position as opposed to going to the cross side like she had before. 12 to 6, 59 seconds left. Working arm. to isolate that arm. Caroline defended the attempt at the key lock very well, but she's still in a precarious position. She can be arm triangled, but beautiful reversal. Rock's got a little too heavy. Yeah, under the Cup of Virginia rules, reversal. Again. Oh, immediately jumps on the arm bar. She knows she has to finish. She starts to pull it out. Rock's doing a really good job of grabbing that With knee line grip. With 30 seconds left, Caroline knows she has to submit. She's got to clear the arm. Let's see if she finishes it. She's looking for potential violent arm bar, and it's clear. She ends up on top, but she has to know she needs to move. She needs to go knee on belly mount very quickly to tie it up. 15 she's, seconds, she's got to look for the sub here. Oh, reverses back down. Rox comes back up to knee on belly, right into mount. Settles, waits for the clock to run out. Excellent back and forth match by Roxanne and Caroline. Great scrambles from both fighters as Roxana advances to the finals of the Gee Absolute Blue Belt Division.